Welcome to Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer and I'm glad you're with us. Very important information to be presented by Dr. Linda Malkis from City of Hope. For those of us that are not are intimately familiar with the institution, tell us about it. Well, the City of Hope is going to be celebrating its 100th year. Happy anniversary. In, right, in 2013. It started as a tuberculosis. Right. You know, two tents in the desert. That's always going exactly. to the story. And over the course of time, uh, they started to evolve and they got a very strong uh, focus on cancer. And the majority of the research that's done there is actually on cancer, but they also have a strong arm coming up, or actually it's been there for mm -hmm. some time, but actually in diabetes as well. Well, in terms of cancer research, City of Hope is groundbreaking. I mean, we know that to be the facts. And so I want to get a sense from you as to what current research is going on at City of Hope for a variety of cancers. It could be breast cancer, neuroblastoma. Why don't you tell us what's happening? So I'm very proud to say, actually, I'm just so delighted to be part of an institution where I could actually say this out loud. They have 27 molecules, either biologics or small molecules, that, are, that have come from research that have occurred right at the lab bench and have moved them towards the clinic. Some have already entered clinical studies. Some are, you know, much younger. So, right. you know, well as we say in the in the pipeline. And those molecules are defeating cancer cells. Yes, actually, very, very beautifully. I, I've seen some of the things that have gone into clinical trial. You have this. You know, you look at the patient scans, and it's the before and after pictures or something else to see. And what's remarkable about this research is, you know, the current therapies is chemotherapy, and that kills everything. Mm -hmm, right. What you're trying to do is target, right. and I presume with these 27 molecules, they're not killing all cells, they're targeting cancer cells. Uh, largely, they are, it's about doing targeted therapy, actually right. what we call personalized. We're moving towards an age. I mean, if, to be very honest, the way we've treated cancer for the last 40, 50 years is, is really we've poisoned people. We've given them agents that right. can't tell the difference between normal cells and malignant cells. So any cell that's dividing is a thing that gets wiped out. So the whole thing we're moving towards now is actually targeting only the cancer. Can we find molecular signatures that define just the cancer cell? And I think the answer so far is probably yes. Yes, so, <laughs> which I mean, I'm which very is, happy. Right, that's actually, huge yeah, news. Actually, uh, a lot of people may not recognize this, but uh, there is a drug that's used in cancer, in breast cancer in particular, called Herceptin. Sure, I know the but name. But its foundational work actually occurred at the City of Hope with the humanization of antibodies. And is Herceptin a drug that targets the breast cancer cells so, only? Yeah, so about 30% of women with breast cancer have on the, the, sur the coat of their cell, the membrane of their cell, a uh, something called HER2. Is it the it's, triple it's, negative that we hear about? Well, or? Different. Yes, Continue. different. So, but they, they just have that. They have like this little receptor, a little molecule that sticks off of it. And using this antibody that, you know, what, that grew out of the technology or the mm -hmm. work that came from the City of Hope, it, the antibody binds that thing on a coat and shuts down that cell. So these women see full recovery? Well, what it's not by and large, mostly what we are allowed to do at this point with that is that these women can live for a very long so time. So it's a chronic condition. It's a, that would be the, that's the holy grail. That's what we were hoping for with Elizabeth Edwards. Yeah, that's the, right. the, the holy grail and that's what we're all working for. And so trying to define, and the, and the City of Hope's, and we call that translational research, is defining molecular signatures and then getting will subsets. You, will you come back and talk more about it? Sure. Her name is Dr. Linda Malkus. I'm Brad Palmer. Thank you for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. Back to HLN.